The financial assessment tool was created to help you understand the financial realities of recruitment and retention at your health center. It covers the direct, tangible costs of things like advertising and marketing, but also indirect costs like lost productivity when you have to onboard somebody. The tool provides you basics for calculating the very specific costs of separation, recruitment, and onboarding of various clinical staff at your health center. The tool is designed in Excel and available for download. Uh, when you open it, the tool has four tabs. The first tab displayed here is the Instructions tab. We urge you to read the entire introduction and purpose, as well as the How to Use section, to make sure you understand um, how the numbers are supposed to be put in, what they're supposed to be capturing, and really what the whole idea of using this is for. The next tab is the Financial Impact Tool, and this is really the meat of the calculator. This has the data input table here at the top for you to put in the very specific values of different things at your health center. You can see, for example, on salary information, the first section, you can put in the very specific salary and benefits per hour for a variety of staffers, non-clinical staffers even, to be calculated as part of the overall cost of dealing with various recruitment retention issues. You can just type your input value right into each different cell. We've also provided national estimates for you. Now, please bear in mind these national estimates are slightly skewed towards physicians in some cases and in general are not adjusted for different regional differences. So when you look at the salary estimates and the hourly rates, please keep that in mind. We provided these here as a general guideline, one, so that you can have a general sense of where your numbers fall compared to national estimates, but also so that you can quickly use a national estimate on the off chance that you want to just um, get a rough estimate for something uh, before you calculate the real number for your budgeting purposes. In order to use a national estimate, all you have to do is double click on the cell and that will add the estimate over into the input column. If you've decided you want to use all the estimates, you can hit the click to use all estimates button and it will fill in the entire spreadsheet for you with all the national estimates. Again, this is something that you might want to do for comparison sake, after you've calculated your own specific cost. Let's say you click some of these buttons and you decide you want to start over. All you have to do is hit this reset button here at the top and it clears out all the values for you. Once you have all your numbers in, we'll use the national estimates here for argument's sake. You can scroll down to the bottom of this financial impact tool tab to find out what the costs are and what the calculations have been made. Here you can see we have sections for termination costs, for replacement costs, net impact to revenue, and new hire onboarding costs. You come up with a final number, your total financial impact for the entire process of uh, recruiting someone. You might want to use parts or all of this number in your calculations and decision making about how you're going to hire people, who you're going to hire, uh, what you need to consider if you're if someone is leaving or you're deciding to hire someone. All the little bits of financial information that are going to help you understand the financial realities of this recruitment retention process at your health center. The third tab of the tool is the details tab. That allows you to see really where we got information for the national estimate. It'll give you all the different information on our input, um, the actual numbers and how we came up with them, different calculations that we use, and various other uh, references and research behind this. This is a pretty extensive tab, so if you're interested in where some of the numbers came from or what it includes or whether or not it's relevant to your specific health center, please check out the details tab to get more information about where all of these numbers came from. The last tab is the Notes tab, and that uh, is pretty brief, but just gives you some background information and various disclaimers and 
uh, other background information that you may want to consider when using this tool as part of your strategic planning. We hope that you will download the tool and use it with your entire workforce team. Please be in touch with any questions or concerns you have.